everybody, it's me Nikki and welcome back to my channel. So let's do another wig review. It's going to be this one I'm wearing right now, of course. So I have a lot to tell you about this wig. So please watch all the way through. You don't want to miss anything I have to say about it, okay? All right. So I got this wig and it is Janet Collections Black Pearl Gaga. And I have her in the color PF S42730. Uh, she is, it says a full lace wig front and rear. Just so you know, it's not a full lace wig like you would think that it's described as. It does have a regular cap. It just has some lace in the front. And it says it has some in the rear. I'm going to get to that. Uh, and she is heat safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I picked her up from Sam's Beauty for $17.99. I have a lot of complaints about this wig, okay? Just from the start, let me tell you that. Get it out of the way. Um, I do have a couple things I like, but more that I dislike. But for starters, I do think this color is very, very pretty. Uh, it is a base of a number four with some highlights of 27 and 30 throughout. Take a look at that. And her length, she's pretty long. You know how it can be difficult to kind of determine that. I'm thinking she's closer to 24, in between 22 and 24 inches, somewhere in that range. Uh, her texture is a silky texture. I'm not picking up any yackiness to it at all. Uh, so that's fine, but her density, I mean, it looks very full. Uh, there is quite a bit of hair here, but it's long, so it drapes down. So in that essence, I would still say the density is pretty realistic. Maybe just a little bit on the fuller side, but nothing major. So let's get into some of these details, all right? Well, first of all, like I said, it has front and rear lace. I didn't see any in the rear. There wasn't any, because a lot of times that means like it's a 13 by 6 or something. That's not the case with this. There's no lace in the rear. Um, of course, it does have the lace in the front. And it's ear to ear, just to let you know. And it says that it has baby hair from ear to ear. Okay. Let me show you something here. All right. So it shows the picture right up there in the corner. You see that up here? right there and it looks like there's baby hair in there but look at her picture do you see any baby hair on her no and I don't have any up here either so I don't know what they're talking about with that uh, I did pick up a little tiny bit of baby hair along the sides but just very very thin I mean you can barely even see it Right there. I mean, it's it's very unnoticeable, first of all. Uh, it also mentions no tape, no glue. When I show you the sides, I have to say I disagree with that, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let me show you her from the back before I go into any more of the details on her. If I can get it all back there. All right, I do think the curl pattern is very gorgeous on this wig. I'm not going to lie there. Uh, she does tangle quite a bit just because of all this hair and the silkiness to it. So be prepared for that, but also be prepared for shedding galore. I mean, this wig will not stop shedding. I cannot run my fingers through it or a brush through it without all this shedding it's just non-stop so I do not like that it's horrible with shedding uh, I also am not a huge fan of this I mean don't get me wrong I do think that some wigs are great like that I bought it knowing that but there's a problem with it and let me show you here 
Do you see all these like little prickly hairs sticking up? And I don't know what's up with that. I mean, you can't like part it at all because the wefts start like right there. Do you see that? Right there it is. So you can't like part it at all. It's a very little bit of lace here in the front. That is all you have. So really, there's no way to wear this wig properly. I mean, you can't part it. You can't pull it back all the way right. Because I try that, and I mean, I don't want to mess it up too much, but I think you know what I mean. When I try to pull it back further, these things still show, no matter what I do. I cannot get this wig styled right. So to be clear, I am obviously quarantined pretty much. I mean, I'm not sick, but you know what I mean. You can't go out anywhere right now. Everything's closed. So that's why I'm wearing her today, because I don't have to worry about going out in public. So you do have to worry about that. And I do think that this wig would actually be a lot prettier if it did have like a parting space somewhere in there, just because this is very, very pretty. I do think that these curls and these highlights are gorgeous, but they just messed it up by not doing a parting in it and making it shed like crazy. Don't like it at all. Um, her cap though is pretty comfortable. Uh, it does have an adjustable strap, a comb in the back and one comb on each side. Uh, and it's on the average side, I would say. I do have it set to a tighter setting. As you know, I like to wear it like that. And she's comfortable that way. She's not slipping or sliding. Don't have to use my wig grip. But you know how I mentioned about the sides that it said, what, how did it say it again? Exactly. Uh, no tape, no glue. I disagree with that. Look how it rides up. Look at that. It will not stay. I mean, you cannot tuck it behind the ear without that. Um, and, I mean, and a lot of wigs are like that. But don't advertise it as no glue, no tape if you're going to need it. So that's the reason why I have a complaint with that. I mean, look at that. It just rides up. But, I mean, if you glue it down, I mean, then that looks pretty realistic. Because obviously that's my own hair right there. That's not their baby hairs that they claim are ear to ear. Uh, so that wouldn't look too bad. But you are going to need to it, you know, use some type of adhesive to keep it down. So just don't advertise it as no glue, no tape, if it really truly isn't. That's my complaint with that. Not the fact that you actually have to glue it down. But I don't know. I just, I still have hair stuck to my hand. <laughs> I don't like this wig. They, it's such a shame since it is such a pretty style. They just messed it up up here and with the shedding. And obviously, like I said, she tangles like crazy too. Uh, just And it's pretty much probably because of all these curls and being a silky texture. Just look at that. Ugh! It's frustrating. Very, very frustrating. So I unfortunately have more cons to this wig than I do pros, so I have to say do, I do not recommend this wig. I'm sorry. I mean, if you want a wig that's just to start out, but you're not going to go in public with, then there you go. But who's going to do that, right? I just, I, I mean, maybe for a costume, you can get away with it. That's pretty much, I guess, the only thing I would say go get her for is if you want to wear it for a costume. But she just does not look real. Not at all. And look at that weft. I can't even try to hide that because the hair just wants to flop like this. No. Don't get this wig. <laughs> so that's all I have to say for this. I didn't even bother naming it because I'm not going to wear her again. Uh, but that's all I have. But I'd like to know what you think. I'd also like to know if you have this wig. Um, tell me. I mean, are you experiencing something different with it than I am? Or, you know, possibly did I just get a bad one of the bunch or something? I don't know. But I'd like to know. So tell me if you have it, what color you have it in, and what you like or don't like about it. And uh, that's about it with that. But please like and subscribe, of course, because uh, I do have a lot of other wigs coming and a lot that I do like, probably. So you are going to want to know about them. So if you subscribe, you will get notified when those videos come out, because I'm sure there's going to be some in there you're going to want to know about and might want to buy for yourself. Uh, obviously not this one, I hope. 
<laughs> but other than that, uh, that's really all I have other than letting me know if there's a wig you want me to review. I'll be happy to look into that. And if there's something you want me to start doing in my videos, it's different. I'm all ears. Let me know. But thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another review. So until then, you know it. Bye-bye.